Hi everyone, this is Dr. K.G. Shanti, Professor, EC Department, RMK College of Engineering and Technology. In this video presentation, we are going to study about Laplace transform. Series versus Fourier transform. Right, now Fourier series and Fourier transform both are used for frequency domain representation of a signal. Right, now let us see when we when do we use Fourier transform and when do we use Fourier series. Right, given a signal x of t, right, if it is periodic, then we go in for Fourier series. Right, now how do you represent a periodic signal or what is meant by a periodic signal? A signal that get repeated itself after a finite duration of time. See here, the signal is getting itself repeated after a time t right so such a signal is going to be called as periodic signal and for that we, have, we will be using Fourier series right now when the signal is going to be a periodic then we go in for what is called as uh, that is uh, Fourier transform and what do you mean by an a periodic signal a signal that doesn't get repeated itself is going to be called as a a periodic signal and in that case we go in for what is called as Fourier transform Right. In Fourier series itself, based on whether the signal is CT or DT, we have continuous time Fourier series and discrete time Fourier series. In the same way, in Fourier transform also, we have continuous time Fourier transform and discrete time Fourier transform. Now, let's proceed on to or let's know what is meant by Fourier transform. Right. Now, what is Fourier transform? Uh, this I had been telling in the previous slide also. It is used to transform signals from time domain representation into frequency domain and it is mainly used for non-periodic signals. Right. Now, in Fourier transform, you have what is called as analysis equation and what is called as synthesis equation. Analysis equation is nothing but given a signal, you, you are going to have or you're going to break the signal into its frequency parts or into its constituent parts, right? So you, you study about the various frequency components that are going to be present in the signal, right? That is going to be called as analysis equation. Now, what is called as synthesis equation? Given the various uh, frequency components or various constituent parts, how do you get back the original signal? That is going to be called as synthesis equation, right? This analysis and synthesis equation together form Fourier transform pair. Right. Now, what we are going to see in the slide is going to be Fourier transform does not exist for some signals or what I am going to tell you is what is the necessity for studying Laplace transform. Right. Now, look at the signal x of t is equal to e power 2 t u of t. Now, how do you represent the signal? Look at this. Here, it is a exponentially growing signal, which means that when you take Fourier transform of it, or Fourier transform does not exit for this signal because this signal does not converge. Right? Now, what is uh, meant by this uh, converging or it is not absolutely integrable? Right? Now, what is the meaning of it is integral minus infinity to infinity mod of x of t dt should be less than infinity only then the given signal is going to be uh, said to be absolutely integrable or uh, this is one of the Dirichlet conditions that has to be satisfied if I need to find out the Fourier transform. For such, such a signal, this is not going to be absolutely integrable because this is a growing exponential signal which means that it is not going to be finite, right? Now let us see what is meant by Laplace transform. Once again, as uh, I told earlier, Laplace transform is also used for conversion of a, a signal from time domain to a, a complex frequency domain. Right, now uh, Laplace transform can be bilateral or unilateral. Right now look at x of s, x of s is nothing but minus infinity to infinity x of t e power minus st into dt. The formula is very similar to that of uh, your Fourier transform except that j omega has been replaced by s. Right and uh, if it's uh, from 0 to infinity then uh, the Laplace transform is going to be called as 
unilateral Laplace transform or one-sided Laplace transform. Right here, one important thing to note here is S domain is nothing but a, a complex variable. S is nothing but a complex variable where S is nothing but sigma plus J omega. Right, as I told you in the previous slide uh, that if a signal does not converge, then we go in for what is called as Laplace transform. Now let me show how that signal uh, when in Laplace transform, how does it converge? Now look into the signal. X of t is equal to e power 2 t e o of t. Correct. Now this is not absolutely integrable or the signal does not converge. Now what I am going to do is with X of t, I am multiplying the factor e power minus j e power minus sigma t. Right. So here what it is e power 2 t into e power minus sigma t or when what I do I rewrite it e power 2 minus sigma into t into u of t. Now when sigma is going to be greater than 2 here substitute sigma to be 3 in that case e power 2 minus 3 which is nothing but e power minus t in that case the signal becomes or it converges right. So that is why we go in for Laplace transform where Fourier transform cannot be used. We go in for Laplace transform. Right. Let us study about what is called as region of convergence before looking into uh, the Laplace transform of a one-sided signal, two-sided signal. Right. Now the formula for Laplace transform is minus infinity to infinity x of t e power minus st into dt. Now the range of s, now in the previous slide we must see uh, the value of sigma for some particular value of sigma the lap signal converges or the Laplace transform converges. So that value of sigma for which the signal converges or the Laplace transform converges is going to be called as region of convergence. And as I told you earlier s is a complex variable given by sigma plus j omega. Now the s plane here this is going to be uh, the real part of S and this is going to be called the imaginary part of S. So this is going to be called as S plane. Right. Let us now look into the Laplace transform of a causal signal or right sided signal. Now why I call a signal as a causal signal or a right sided signal. Look into the signal x of t is equal to e power minus a t into u of t. What is u of t? u of t is a step signal. You all know u of t is equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 for t lesser than 0. So any signal that is going to be multiplied by u of t is going to be called as a causal signal or a right sided signal. Now let us proceed on finding out the Laplace transform of x of t. Laplace transform of x of t is nothing but x of s. The formula is minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus st into dt. Now what is x of t? e power minus at into ut. So that I have put here. Right and you all know when u of t comes the integral limit will change from 0 to infinity because u of t is equal to 1 only for t greater than or equal to 0 which means that from 0 to infinity it is 1. So e power minus at into e power minus st. Right. Now what I do? I rewrite it. E power minus of s plus a into t into dt. Right. Now let me complete the integration then I will come back to the term put in box. Now do the integration e power minus s plus a into t divided by minus of s plus a with the limit 0 to infinity. Okay. Right. Now uh, apply the limits. Uh, when I apply the upper limit it is e power t is infinity so e power minus infinity and lower limit is t is 0 so e power minus 0 by minus of s plus a. You all know e power minus infinity is going to be 0 e power 0 is going to be 1 so it is minus 1 by minus s plus a minus and minus gets cancelled so it is 1 by s plus a. So what we have found the Laplace transform of e power minus a t into u of t is nothing but 1 by s plus a. Right. Now when will the signal converge or what is the condition for the convergence of the signal? Now look here. 
it is e power minus of s plus a into t right now for this signal to be converging this should be s plus a should be positive or why why am i saying that s plus a should be positive if it is negative or lesser than 0 this value with minus will become plus and in that case the signal will be e power any positive signal will not converge so naturally s plus a should be greater than 0 or s plus a is positive right so s i am taking this plus a to the other side so s greater than minus a or a real part of s should be greater than minus a or what is the real part of s sigma sigma should be greater than minus a so this is going to be so what i am going to say is for sigma greater than or equal to minus a this signal converges or what is the region of convergence region of convergence is sigma greater than minus a now how will i draw the diagram for this now where is the pole i have uh, s plus a so s is equal to minus a or sigma is equal to minus a which means that i have a pole at minus a right and what is the region of convergence region of convergence is greater than minus a so you have region of convergence to the right side of your uh, sigma is equal to minus a is that clear right now let us go on to finding the laplace transform of a non causal signal or a left sided signal what do you mean by a non causal or a left sided signal right now look in the earlier case you had x of t to be equal to e power minus a t into u of t whereas here look into the signal the signal is going to be u of minus t what is u of minus t u of minus t is 1 for t lesser than 0 so any signal uh, that exists for t lesser than 0 is going to be a non-causal signal or it is a left sided signal so that is why you call this as a left sided signal now let us proceed on for finding out the Laplace transform of this signal. This is the formula for Laplace transform. Let us substitute x of t here. Now what is x of t minus e power minus a t u of minus t into e power minus s t into dt. Right? And what is u of minus t? u of minus t is 1 for t lesser than 0. What is t lesser than 0? From minus infinity to 0. Right? Minus infinity to 0 minus e power minus a t e power minus s t into d t right now the same thing i am rewriting minus minus of infinity to 0 e power minus of a plus s into d t right and i am applying this formula for changing the limits for uh, easy simplification so when i apply this limit see here uh, what i do here uh, that is minus a minus b if i want to remove the sign here that minus comes here Right. So, when I apply this formula to this case, see here what it is becoming e power this minus has gone. So, it is s plus a into t. Right. One minus will come in the front. Already there is a minus here. Minus and minus will become plus. So, what is the equation becoming? Minus infinity to 0 e power a plus s into t into dt. Right. Now, I integrate it. Right. Now, I integrate it. I apply the limits. Right e power 0 is 1 and e power minus infinity is 0. So, you get x of s is equal to 1 by s plus a. Right. Now, uh, look at the region of convergence. Now, here, if I want the signal to converge, the signal in the bracket should be negative. Only e power minus t or e power minus 2t. So, e power minus t will only converge, which means that s plus a should be negative. So, s plus a less than 0 or s lesser than minus a or real part of s lesser than minus a or what you say sigma lesser than minus a which means that region of convergence sigma should be lesser than minus a so how will i plot the region of right now look into this slide here uh, there is a pole at sigma is equal to minus a and the region of convergence is for sigma lesser than minus a that is why this side of the part of the s plane is shaded okay now for this left sided signal the laplace transform x of s is equal to 1 by s plus a for the right sided signal also x of s is equal to 1 by s plus a which means that then how will you uh, differentiate whether the given signal is a right sided signal or left sided signal 
that is based on your region of convergence if region of convergence sigma is lesser than minus a then it is a left sided signal in that case x of t will have u of minus t term and if r of roc sigma is greater than minus a then it's a right sided signal in that case x of t will have the term u of t let us now find out the laplace transform of a two sided signal now in this case the question is x of t is equal to e power minus at into u of t plus e power minus bt into u of minus t in that case what i am doing is i am right i am splitting x of t as x1 of t into x, x plus x2 of t here x1 of t is e power minus at into u of t and x2 of t is e power minus bt into u of minus t on looking into the question itself you know that since it's u of t it's a right sided signal and this is u of minus t it is going to be left sided signal so what will be x1 of s for a right sided signal we have seen uh, the integration here the integration will change from 0 to infinity since it is u of t right so do the integration and we very well know that if it is e power minus at into u of t the laplace transform will be equal to 1 by s plus a correct so see here x1 of s is going to be equal to 1 by s plus a and for a right sided signal the region of convergence is going to be sigma greater than minus a now uh, let us come on to x2 of s now what is x2 of s e power minus bt into u of minus t e power minus st into bt since you have minus uh, t here your integral limits will change from minus infinity to zero yes or not since u of minus t is there do the integration when i do the integration i am going to get the answer as minus 1 by s plus b right and here what is the region of convergence sigma lesser than minus b now what is your x of s x was x of s is going to be x1 of s plus x2 of s so what is the answer 1 by s plus a minus 1 by s plus b now see the region of convergence of a two sided signal we had region of convergence sigma greater than minus a for the right sided sequence region of convergence sigma was lesser than minus b for a right sided sequence uh, sorry left sided sequence now what happens here now for a two sided sequence which has part of right sided and part of left sided uh, signal in that case uh, the region of convergence is going to lie between two poles here minus a and minus b thank you all